right, guys. So if you haven't figured out already by the title of the video and where we are right now, we are in the Moosehead region of Maine, and we're going to be fishing Moosehead Lake for a couple of days up here. Just pulled into Indian Hill, almost coasted in on fumes, but we made it. We had plenty of gas to get here. So I just gassed up the sleds. I gassed up the truck. I got to run into the store here, get a, get a little bit of food. And I'm also going to go down into the tackle shop here and try to find a manager somewhere where I can uh, hopefully discuss getting some of the uh, some of our Trout Whisperer tackle lures um, on the shelf here at this place. So if that goes well, hopefully this spring we'll get some stuff in there, but we'll let you guys know. Um, I'm going to run in. I'm going to go check on the bait too. I got bait way back, way back in Oakland at Wild Things. It's a really good bait shop there in town and had them bag bagged up. So I, got, I probably ought to go check on them, see how bad they're looking, but hopefully they should be good. Right. Oh yeah. We got about 22 dozen worth of bait. We got smelts and shiners. I've got bait for everybody. It's about $200 worth of bait right there. But looks like nothing leaked out, we're still good. So I'm gonna run in the store here, get a few things done that I need to do. We got a few cabins. We're staying up in Lily Bay, a bunch of us. It's a kind of our annual trip. I haven't filmed anything on this trip the last like two or three years. So I figured I might try to do it this weekend. We're supposed to get some nasty weather coming in soon on Saturday here, a couple days and it's uh, pretty damn cold today. It was like negative 20 down where I am this morning so uh it'll be a challenge but hopefully we can get a video for you guys all right guys so i just got out of the store i got the food got a couple goodies here cody actually called me this morning because he's already up there fishing and uh i think he said fourth hole they drilled they uh, hit some rocks with his new ion bit so i had to pick up some new blades for him so those are coming kind of funny uh when i was at the bait shop back home i bumped into a couple guys that recognized me from youtube and stuff and uh came up here and they've they pulled in just i don't know five ten minutes after me and we we shot the shit a little bit and turns out they live right down the road from me so that's kind of cool and i just did talk to um one of the managers here at indian hill and he said to shoot him an email and we can uh hopefully get some lures in there so uh hopefully you guys that are up in this area fishing will be able to get some trout whisper tackle lures up here this year so uh, stay tuned for that you can check on the website if they're going to be a vendor i'll have them right on the page there so uh, let's get up to camp and see what's going on. Give you guys a cabin tour now real quick. Here we are. You see those flags out there? <laughs> All right, got the mud room, kitchen, living room. The loft. How many you got up there? Big old moose. We got two traps up there. Yeah. Bring out a battery. My room. Josh's room. Bathroom. Basement. Check this out. Go up to the loft here. Yeah. Pretty nice digs, man. Oh, that's a tiny little bathroom, huh? Yeah. That works. It's like a Harry Potter friggin'. <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like a Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. And there's the lake. This is the bait room. Got all the bait bubbling. Look at this. We got, I don't know what's in here in Cody got. Oh, big suckers in there. We got, I think shiners, Some, uh, shiners in there, big boys, and smelts and smaller shiners in there. We got like 25 dozen, so we're set. Pretty well stocked up. Who's that baby? <coughs> right in your lungs.
15 degrees out, not bad. Yeah, if the wind doesn't pick up, it'd be perfect. There we go. feet of water here. Start out with a big boy smell. I got way too big of a hook really. Yes, now we just wait for a little bit. I'm not moving too fast this morning. All right, first flag. Oh yeah, she's moving. She's really moving. Yeah. Dropped it. Oh, he's back on. Yeah, he's back on now. Uh, now I'll just use this one. I took a little bit of line. It was screaming when I got here, and then I, I said it, and he wasn't there, and then I jiggled it, and now he's back on. He's big head shakes. I don't know what the hell. I don't know if it's feeling cusky or if it's an actual lake trout. Oh, it's a lake trout. No, it ain't bad, dude. I don't think. I'll be careful. I got a light line. Here we go. Not bad, got him. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, <laughs> first one. That's a good 18, 19 inch, 25 er. Not bad, I've already got three flags, one fish. <laughs> Look at these two guys. <laughs> Something's on there. Sucker. It's a fucking cusp, dude. No. No? No. Go this way. The wind's blowing. It just feels like weight. <laughs> Big ol' rubber boot. There's some head shakes now. Okay. Oh, another lake trout. Is that another flag right there? Yeah. I got another. I'm just over here catching fish. Don't worry about it. 
That's a smaller one. All right, guys, so here we are, day one, out here on the ice. Pretty good scenery behind me here. See the mountains off in the distance there. Uh, I've already got three lake trout, and a couple other guys have got a couple, just smaller ones so far. We do have a bat going between all of us. We are doing the derby up here. We're, no, we know we're not gonna win anything from the derby, but we have a little side bet going on the biggest fish for the weekend. So, so far, that's only 19 and a half inches. Hopefully it'll get bigger than that, but it's cold out. It is cold. Let's drill a big And that's how you get a 10 inch hole with a Dewalt. Little clam plate, 10 inch ion bit. The gear reductor, three to one. Did that come on there? Yeah. yeah. It's called the, pa I think it's the power plate they call it or something. <laughs> how can you ask for better than that? Huh? How can you ask for better than that? I know. It's getting heavier as I pull up. Boy. Yeah. You only had it down a little ways, didn't you? 40 feet. What's that? Well, it's a decent one. There you go. There you go. That's the biggest one so far. Good ballpark it. 19. 19 and a half. 19. Hold on. 19 and a half. 19 and a half. Is that the biggest one? Yeah. Mine was 18 and a half. Got one? You got 19 and a half or? Oh, yes. Gosh. 19 and a half. Nice looking one, though. Yeah. Look, look how fat that thing yeah. is. Look at it. Hold up, Brandon. 20 feet down, too. What? I only put it 20 feet down. I'm sure I'll ship a lot. Bacon butter, boys. Yes, why not? Salmon for sure. Well, that's Might be. Salmon. I almost just ran out and over on purpose. Really? Yeah. What? Oh, chip up. On <laughs> <laughs> purpose. I see nothing. <laughs> Weed whacker line. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. You see it? This just doesn't want to. No, that's a late trout. Yeah. Cool. Whoa! I thought it was going to be way bigger than that. That's a nice trout. That's a nice one, though. We're in a pretty good spot. I'm going to show you guys a little secret how to keep warm on the ice. It only involves two things. Gatorade and heat. <sighs> yeah, that just hits different. It does. It seriously does. It doesn't taste like Gatorade. It's weird. I don't see how I could like that. Me, I didn't think so either, but I'm telling you right now, it's fucking good. Look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, a little bit of a lull in the action there, but this one just went off. And it's not moving. That feels cusky right there, boys. Not like? Ah, uh, no. No, it's, it's a lake trout. It's a lake trout. That's perch. Oh. Oh, it's a perch for sure, dude. Does it take you long? Yes. Dude, watch out for your screen. Yeah, I got it. Your bobber. Your bobber. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that. <laughs> that was too funny. Dude. Like, why do... I don't understand why people leave negative comments. It's like, what's the point? Unless you're yeah. like, really roasting somebody. Most of the time it's like, this might be halfway decent. 
Here we go. I, oh. I think it's a native. He does not want to come in that hole. It's probably too big. That would suck. It's not though. Oh, he wasn't coming off either. Another, another flag just went up. All right, nice this little lake trout, 21 inch. See ya. Okay, where's the other one? Ah, my fucking hands! Oh, it's spinning, boys. That's frozen in there. Oh yeah. Let me see the picture. Let me just give you ten dollars right this now. Is, this is the best picture with the portrait. Oh that's sweet though. That's yeah. cool. Oh we might have a lake trout on yeah. here. You yeah. boys fishing today or just me? <laughs> yep, look at that. Neither one. You still eat a baby. You see this trap in this hole? Just know I'm going hard. Ooh. Smocked him. <laughs> this should actually be a fish. Don't drink, don't smoke, kids. Look at that. If you, look, if you keep watching that, for this, ooh. that's a trout. Yeah. That's a nice trout. He looked tight on me there. There's a leader. Yep. Another micro lake trout. Do the dance, baby. Lake trout. <coughs> yep. Ah. <laughs> it's about the size of one. <sighs> you! <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, guys, so the snow is coming in. We're supposed to be absolutely dumped on tomorrow. A uh, pretty big snowstorm coming, I guess, from what they say. So, not sure what tomorrow's gonna bring for us, but uh, I guess we're gonna pack it in for today. Didn't really have, I mean, I had quite a bit of action there for a little while. Nobody else really seemed to have much action today. I think we're gonna try to do some brick trout fishing tomorrow instead. Um, it's supposed to be windy, snowy, so we might try to tuck in close to shore somewhere and see if we can uh, get a nice wild brook trout or two. So. Uh, I'm gonna pick these traps up. We're heading to camp and relax. Day two. 
Berkey fishing. Colder than balls. See if this old girl's gonna go. Nice wood. Come on, baby. Right, guys it might be a little hard trying to film today but it's cold and uh, the old GoPro froze up on the way over here but we're at the spot here you can see we're ready to get shore we're gonna we're gonna zip some holes down through the shoreline it's nice and rocky we're in a little cove kind of protected by the wind so hopefully today it won't be too bad because it's supposed to blow pretty hard and uh, it's supposed to get some snow so I'm gonna put on Put on a small smell. I'm gonna have to check these throughout the day because they they get pretty tangled up. Yeah, so we could probably go out on the main lake there and catch lake trout all day, but we've never really fished for brook trout here. I think I had one on a couple years ago. I set like two traps for them, but I lost it at the hole. So I gotta try to get some redemption here. I've got my my gagging squad box here. Gotta switch my weights out. I got way too big of weights. I'd like to run no weights, but I got an idea that it ain't gonna go too good if I don't. So I gotta put at least one little little weight on here. Oh, nice hard bottom there though. So we got three, six, about seven feet. It's not bad. Got a flag. Uh, just talking to Josh. Flag goes up right next to shore. Come on, baby. It's bitter, baby. Oh yes. It's ripping. Oh yeah. Did I just set this too? It was ripping. Did you see it? I got him. No, that's not good. Still got him. Little Brookie. Little Brookie. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Ooh. Look at that. That's nice. nice little brook trout. You got your phone on you? Let's get a quick picture. Just gonna cut him right off. Are you? Yeah. Swallowed it. I don't want to keep him. There we go. I'll catch little trout like that all day. Yeah. I don't care. The bed and well, rub you fins. Be right about maybe. Good. Yep. Oh yeah. Is that it? Yep. It feels pretty decent. Come on, baby. Oh yeah. Here you go. Big old dude, no. you fucking kidding me? Holy fuck! Look at that thing, dude. It's a goldfish. What? That's the biggest sucker I have ever seen. That is huge. Big old pond, dude. That. They're bigger than the same. Wow. Oh. Hey. <laughs> That's not a bad perch, though. No. Long. On that? Yeah, on the friggin' secret Kennebec lure. Don't show that. Died. Yeah. Yeah. Why would I do that? It, it acted, it ran, and then it acted yeah. like it was getting choked like out. Like I mean, look. I guarantee it's too cold. I guarantee the, the gas, gas is frozen in there or something. Yeah. 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 No, it's good. <laughs> Hey. 
my sled's dead. Not really sure what exactly happened with it. It was running fine, then all of a sudden shut right off like it ran out of gas almost. So either something froze up in there because it's been sitting for a little bit or the line into the tank fell off inside of there and it's not sucking any more gas. So we popped the belt off. We're going to have to haul this thing back to camp unless for some reason it miraculously wants to start. I'm getting the new sled next year, boys and girls. Mark my words. Not doing this again. It's two years in a row I've been on Moosehead Lake with a broken down sled. Pisses me off too. I spent all, all week tearing the skid out, putting all new slides and bogey wheels on, new battery, fixing a leak in the antifreeze. And here we sit. So, sick. Well, Moosehead Lake, baby! 2022! Grill them out. Grill them out. <laughs> <laughs> nice hot Gatorade. Gatorade. Mister, I'm gonna peel some of them, boys. Oh yes. All right, folks. We're picking up. It's just not, not good. Pretty slow day. I was hoping it was gonna be a little better there in the morning before the snow started coming in, but it's just so damn windy right now. It's not bad right here where I am, but over where the shack is, like Cody just looks like a tornado going through the on that ranger over there. But plus, we got to get the snowmobile back down into town. We're like, I don't know, five five six miles up the up the lake from where we're staying so we gotta make sure we can get that back and not get stuck out here we did get one brook trout i wish i would have got some video of it on the big camera but i mean it's just so cold that batteries aren't working cameras aren't working anything electronic is having a hard time today Oh, the belt's not on. I know, but I was like, I just reached over and started the thing and it started right up and I repped it a few times and I said, it, leave it running. Hey, roll, try to roll it backwards a little bit. Push it. Yeah, one more. Oh, a little. Yeah, good, start it. What the? Moosehead 2020 
in the books. <laughs> Holy smokes, dude, that was, that was unreal. That, I couldn't see a thing. I couldn't see a thing either. I'm Cody was leading the way in there with his phone, I think, but. Well, guys, we made it back home. Wow, that was a lot of work for a handful of fish, but we made it back home. We have a ton of snow now. Uh, I mean, it was crazy driving home into all this stuff. I mean, the roads were terrible. This thing is, I mean, everything is just covered. The trailer is brown and white now from all the salt. Little Trout Whisperer logo. She's covered, but anyways. Hey, that ends the Moosehead video for this year. I would like to try to get back up there maybe in a few more weeks or maybe go somewhere else, I'm not sure. I wanna to try to do a couple overnights. Um, I have a couple plans kind of lined up for that, but I gotta also check out this snowmobile. I don't know what happened to it out there in the ice. Uh, we think maybe it just got flooded and, and uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to check, take it apart, check it, make sure everything's good to go because I can't have that happen, so. If you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you guys in the next video oh and i forgot to show you guys this that small like 20 21 inch lake trout that we got that won the little derby between all seven of us so i got 70 bucks and this little trophy baby the king of moosehead lake so